Today I have a long overdue French lesson. You are going to learn the differences between nouveau and neuf in this video. They both mean new in English, so I can see why it's very confusing for, in, for French learners. But uh, in French we use them in slightly different context. So let's see. No, actually, before we start, don't forget your free PDF to keep and review. Free, free, free. Now let's start. So nouveau and neuf are both adjectives. So that means that they both agree in gender and number with the noun they describe. Here is how they change. For masculine singular, we're going to have nouveau. Masculine singular starting with vowel, we're going to have nouvelle, the L. Feminine singular, nouvelle. Masculine plural, nouveau. Feminine plural, Nouvelle. Nouveau usually comes before the nouns it describes. Before. For neuf, we have neuf, neuve, neuf, neuve. Neuf usually comes after the noun it describes, so make sure to remember how they change in gender and number and where they are placed in the sentence. Now let's see the differences. Nouveau is the most common one in French, and it implies something new to the person, in a more general sense. Neuf implies that it's brand new, has never been used, okay? Sometimes both are correct, because something that is neuf, so brand new, is also new to the person. So that's like, that's a little thing, sometimes you can use both. But if it's something new, so second hand or something, we're going to use nouveau. And if it's brand new, brand new, you take it out of the box, it's neuf. Let's see a couple of examples. For nouveau, j'ai acheté un nouveau téléphone portable. J'ai acheté un nouveau téléphone portable. Il a un nouveau stylo. Il a un nouveau stylo. Le professeur a utilisé un nouvel exemple pour expliquer sa leçon. Le professeur a utilisé un nouvel exemple pour expliquer sa leçon. Elle a une nouvelle robe pour la fête. Elle a une nouvelle robe pour la fête. La nouvelle voiture de ma sœur est très confortable. La nouvelle voiture de ma sœur est très confortable. One more. Mes amis ont acheté un nouveau canapé pour leur appartement. Mes amis ont acheté un nouveau canapé pour leur appartement. OK? So all these examples, it's all new to them. Make sense? Now let's see neuf. Est-ce que ton vélo est neuf? Est-ce que ton vélo est neuf? So here, is it brand new? Brand new, okay? Remember. Il a acheté un téléphone neuf après avoir perdu l'ancien. Il a acheté un téléphone neuf après avoir perdu l'ancien. So here you could say you could say nouveau as well. But here the person wants to emphasize in the sentence, which was me, I, I wrote that, so I guess it's me, <laughs> that the, the phone was brand new. Okay, but it brand new, but it at the store. It's not a second hand one, it's not anything else, it's a brand new one. Le moteur de la voiture est tout neuf. Le moteur de la voiture est tout neuf. So tout neuf, brand new. Tout neuf. Ok? Elle a une montre neuve. Elle a une montre neuve. Ma télévision est neuve. Je l'ai achetée hier. Ma télévision est neuve. Je l'ai achetée hier. Ces ordinateurs sont neufs. Nous venons de les acheter. Ces ordinateurs sont neufs. Nous venons de les acheter. There you have it, the differences between nouveau and neuf. 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's shorter than usual, but I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget your free PDF and I will see you again next Wednesday for a new French lesson. I believe next Wednesday is a listening test because you already enjoyed the first one. So I will see you again next Wednesday. À mercredi prochain.